ATU and welcome to ATU Live. I'm Mary. I'm Keegan. And I'm Emily. Thank you all so much for tuning in to our ninth episode of our sixth season of ATU Live. Today we have a guest joining us to discuss internships. But first, Mary is going to tell us what is going on on campus this week. Well, y'all, we have some fun things going on on campus this week. This Wednesday, April 12th, ATU Chambers Wins has a concert at 7.30 p.m. in Witherspoon Auditorium. This Thursday, April 13th, it's ATU's School of Business Investment Challenge Final at 10 a.m. in Doc Bryan. Also this Thursday, April 13th, ATU's International Student Services are hosting an Easter egg decorating event at 2 p.m. in Doc Bryan 242. And don't forget to listen carefully for our special keyword so that you can go to our Instagram at ATU Res Live, comment the keyword on our mini sewed post for the week, and be entered into a drawing for a gift card. Okay, it's back to the other co-hosts. Thank you so much, Nate, for the news. Uh, now we have our first guest joining us to talk about internships. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. I'm Alan Scheidley. I'm the Assistant Dean for Career Services here at Arkansas Tech University. I've only been in the role now for about seven months. Feels like seven years, but that's only because <laughs> of how much fun I've been having at Tech, nice. really revitalizing our services and really finding all the opportunities on campus to bring you and get you ready uh, for the next step in your career. Heck yeah, Tech yeah. <laughs> so what is an internship? So an internship can look like a lot of things. It can look like maybe just going in for one hour into an office and maybe you're just copying papers. Or it can look like maybe you're going on the ground for two years in a foreign country. So mm -hmm. internships are wide, they're diverse, uh, and they're really what you want them to be for yourself. But the most important thing about an internship, are you getting the skills that you want early in your career or perhaps in a career change. So we do have a lot of non-traditional students at ATU that are looking to make pivot in their careers. Mm -hmm. So thinking about what are you getting during that time that you want for that next step that's ahead in your life. Yeah, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. So does every major require an internship or is it specific? So that's an interesting question. Require, mm -hmm. no, but should you, yes. Mm -hmm. So I always recommend everyone should be thinking about when is the right time for you to do an internship personally, but also thinking professionally and how does that align with inside your major? So you said like, when are you supposed to do an internship? Is there a time when you're supposed to do it? Do you need to have it or is senior year when you're supposed to do it? You have it before, is it early is best? What do you think? Uh, you should have started yesterday. Okay. <laughs> so what I mean by that is I was talking about there's a variety of different internships that you can do. So you can do a beginning internship that I would say is maybe you're just going in, you're helping around the office, you're kind of learning a little bit about the industry. That's mm -hmm. something you really should start before you come to a college campus or mm -hmm. for sure your freshman year. I think there's always been this... Uh, lie that we've been telling students that start your sophomore year but the reality is is that the economy the economy you're all graduating into is very competitive mm -hmm. and you're not just competing against students that are in Russellville and Arkansas but in the world and that's something that's really unique about your generation is that you're the most mobile generation mm -hmm. in human history so you're thinking about jobs, not just here, but everywhere. So Dubai, Tokyo, London, New York, Chicago, Dallas, wherever it might be. So getting your resume and the most experience that is meaningful should start as soon as you can. Mm -hmm. And then really building upon those internships so they're getting more and more meaningful and more and more responsibility. I've already been accepted for my internship and I feel like I'm behind. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's how it goes. So uh, talking about career services specifically, how do y'all help uh, people acquire or students acquire internships specifically? Yeah, so career service really operates with on three panels that we always say are three pillars. We have our professional development, so that's workshops so you can come to. So we do everything from resumes, LinkedIn, mm -hmm. handshake, interview, references. Uh, so that's one of the first pillars. The second pillar is graduate school and fellowships and scholarships assistance. So we work a lot with the Honors College and also with Dr. Wright and the university's prestigious scholarships of getting students ready for graduate school. So graduate school is part of a lot of your preparation of your uh, career that you're going into. Mm -hmm. So getting some of our students to think about how grad school correlates with internships, how internships can help you get in to competitive grad schools. 
And then that last pillar we really focus on is networking. Mm -hmm. So we do a lot of, of our opportunity fairs or what we call career fairs here yep. at Arkansas Tech. So we have an opportunity fair tomorrow uh, that's happening from one to four, I believe, or it's two to four, I can't remember the exact time right now, that's happening at Tucker Coliseum. And that's a great time for you to come and network with 40 plus employers. And one thing mm -hmm. I'm really proud of the team that they've done this last semester is each opportunity fair has had a record attendance of employers, but also a record attendance of students. So networking at those fairs, but also coming to the panels that we host. So one that's happening at the end of the month, that's happening on April 20th, First, that's gonna happen Doc Bryan Lecture Hall, is we're having Jeremy Collins come, who's a National Geographic artist. So he's traveled wow. all around the world, working with National Geographic, some of the biggest magazines and newspapers in the world. And he's talking about his career. That's an amazing time yeah. for you to go and shake the hand of someone that's doing something you wanna go do, regardless if you have no interest in a career in arts, you should still come and just learn from someone that's the best at what they do. Yeah. And I think that's something a lot of students don't realize about career services, but also time and college in general, is that this is all just one big networking event. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really why you pay to go to college, is to network with the people who are there. You can read the same books and do the same papers that they're doing at Harvard, but the collection of people at Arkansas Tech that you believe are a unique collection of people that you want to network and build a community with, and career service helps do that just on a wider local, national, and global level. So we've been bringing in speakers from Dubai. We had a speaker. We had a speaker that came from Sydney, Australia. We had Gerald Hankerson, who's a leading nonprofit uh, leader, fly down from Chicago and speak. And so we're kind of helping facilitate that for you while you're here in Russellville. Wow. That's awesome. That's really good advice. Keegan, you went to a career fair recently, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. How was that? It was awesome. Mm -hmm. I mean, schools from all around the state. It was right mm -hmm. after he did a, a professional development is the correct term on mm -hmm. doing your resume. I think it was like a week before that that we worked on resumes, had it ready for that career fair. It was awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. So as far as specifically internships go, what are the benefits of an internship? The first and foremost, the benefit of an internship is you're going to learn what you hate. And that's the most important thing when deciding a profession. You're gonna find out there's a lot of things you kinda like, you really like. And it's starting, it's hard to figure out which one of those really matter. But what's the easiest thing for most of us is to find the things we hate and what we hate doing. So if you really hate doing admin work, you kinda know, hey, I might need a job that's in the field. Mm -hmm. Or maybe go do an internship with the National Forest. You're out there cutting down trees and you're like, Oh, I really hate this. <laughs> and that's the benefit of internship is that first, you're gonna find out what you hate doing. Mm -hmm. And then you're gonna find out what you really love doing and you're gonna find where is my zeal and what can I push forward to make that mm -hmm. zeal grow more towards a career. But also for internship, it's your first time to get responsibility. Mm -hmm. And it's what I always ask is when you're doing those internships, even if it's just copying papers, even if it's just sitting down and taking notes, go to the lead and ask them, what is one project I can take on while I'm here? So then when you apply for that next internship that has more responsibility to that job, you can say, here's something I did from concept to finish. Here's the numbers and the percentages of how I improved that office while I was there. So that's mm -hmm. one of the key things. Too many students come to me with resumes and they just say, help, support, assist it with this. If you can start adding numbers and percentages while you're in those internships of, we helped 80 students before, and then I made a new program that helped 90 students, mm -hmm. or I increased the office efficiency by 5%. Those are the things that are gonna help you win over in today's job market. Mm -hmm. Because really, it's an employee's job market. Unemployment rate's very low. We have a very strong economy right now. So all of you are competing for these jobs, and employers are wanting to hire you. Yeah. And so it's a great time to show how am I above and beyond the average undergrad that just came out. That is really awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So on the topic, continue with internships, what is the big difference between, besides the obvious, a paid internship <laughs> and an unpaid internship? Is that just something that's specific to whatever the internship is, or is there benefits for both sides? Like what's the differences between a paid and unpaid internship? Yeah, so one of the dark sides of internships is that some of the most prestigious ones have been unpaid. Mm -hmm. So historically, the White House didn't do paid internships until last year. Wow. 
And that's really something Biden helped push through. He's like, I want federal jobs, federal internships to be mm-hmm. meeting always that minimum wage. Um, so there is, as you said, I often think it's kind of a cue of how much do they really value interns. Mm-hmm. So you're kind of seeing, hey, they might give me more responsibility and more duties because they're actually paying me to yeah. do that. Yeah. But with that said, some of the bigger name organizations, especially out on the West and East Coast, are still unpaid mm-hmm. just because that's how the systems have be and they're, they're hard to change. Mm-hmm. So that's hard for a lot of our students who are first gen, you know, whereas myself, I come from a rural background. I didn't have the means and economic mobility to go take those unpaid internships. Mm -hmm. But if you have the luxury of maybe you're working a side job, maybe you're working at a coffee shop, and you find, you know, the United Nations still does unpaid internships, going to them and getting an unpaid internship is going to change the complete trajectory of your whole life, not just professionally, but personally. So if you can find those ways to make them work a little bit, there is some significance to it, but the biggest difference between them is the money. But then often, I think sometimes it's a great cue of how much do they value their interns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you're looking for um, places to apply for an internship, so do you, should you focus on companies that you see yourself pursuing a career with? Yeah, so the first step I would recommend is dropping into our office, speaking of maybe your former academic advisor, your current academic advisor, then also talking with our career counselors. Those are great resources that kind of help stew in the brain, and they might also help whittle from 500 options down to 50, kind of getting you to think. Um, The other thing is definitely getting on LinkedIn, learning how to use that efficiently. If you aren't on LinkedIn as a freshman in college, you're already one step down. Mm -hmm. Everyone needs to be on LinkedIn. We do LinkedIn workshops, highly recommend coming to them. We have one at the end of the month that I recommend coming. Um, That's one of the best avenues. So starting with the center, the Center of Academic Advising Career Development, then really getting on LinkedIn, starting narrowing down, um, and then making a list of what are the dream companies you wanna work for, dream organizations. But more importantly, finding what are the values that you hold true and then finding companies that match that. Mm -hmm. So for teachers, I always give the example of thinking about you got to go to a school district that values the same things you do. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to a school district that doesn't value arts and you're an art teacher, you might want to think about looking at a different district. Awesome. So there's a lot of information you've given us. We've been very blessed. Mm -hmm. Uh, Definitely you'll take notes if you haven't. But just as a final question, is there anything else that you'd like to add or share? Uh, if you want to plug anything that Career Services has, like your social media, any of that, now's your chance. Yeah, definitely follow us at ATU Careers. Uh, don't go to our website right now. We're revamping it like most of Arkansas Tech right now. Yes. But at the end of May, we will have a brand new website. So that's where we'll give you a one-stop shop for everything. And the greatest thing I can say right now is, you know, I hinted at your generation is the most mobile ever mm-hmm. in human history. Uh, I see way too many students come in, uh, they've already closed the doors on a lot of opportunities. And I can say the best thing early in your career is taking those opportunities and just finding where they go. Because of the grad schools I went to that my undergrad helped build me in towards, that opened up doors. But then I was able to live in seven different countries and I've now worked in 50 plus countries. So finding that opportunity, you never know where it's gonna go. Like, you know, two years ago I was living in Dubai, and I live in Russellville, Arkansas, because I care about the mission of first-generation students, rural communities, and regional colleges. Um, so don't close doors too soon on any opportunities. If you're thinking about staying in Arkansas, that's great. I encourage it. We want talented young folks like yourself to stay here. But also don't, don't say no when someone's like, hey, I got a job in Dallas. So you might go there for the first three years and bring that experience, that knowledge, back to your community here, and that's going to make all the difference. Yeah. That's awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for all this super insightful knowledge, and thank you just for joining us today. Um, I've had a great time, and I've I've learned a lot. So let's grab Mary and get back to it. The key word today is coffee. What's up, everybody? I'm Keegan with AT Live, and today we're going to be going around campus playing the Easter-themed Price is Right. So our first two contestants of the day, I'm here joined with... Uh, Russell and Roman. Russell and Roman. Awesome. So they're going to be playing against each other for the prices right. So you guys will just go one item at a time. First with the double prices, how much is this yellow Easter basket, or yellow, that's pink, pink Easter basket. You wanna go first, Roman? Oh yeah. I think you got it. 
the three? Yeah. He thinks it's 348. What about you? Uh, I'd probably go for 348 as well. You guys are both incorrect. It is oh. only 124. Dang. Oh, I know. I got no, it. It's because it's the smaller one. Oh. But we'll go for the bigger one. How much is the bigger one? All right, that's your guess. Bro, they sometimes they have charges. Someone go for the six dollars. <laughs> All right, it is three forty eight. <laughs> so one point. What's up, Josh? One point for Roman. Last Easter basket. This one's plastic. How much do you think this one's worth? Oh, I remember this thing. So those are dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. And you? You guys are both correct. So the bigger basket for the better price. The so you know, but anyways, last section of this game, price match the cream egg, Easter themed egg. Lots of different options here. I see the different font on that one. Four seventy four for Roma. I'll go for you know I'll go for. No, I'll go for 268. No. 268. The correct answer is the. Which one is it again? I've read this one wrong. It's the 387. Okay, that's why I messed myself up there. Sorry about that. 387. So both of y'all were around it, but Roman had one more point, so Roman wins. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Russell. <laughs> Thank you guys for playing. Yeah. So our first two contestants of the day, I'm here joined with. Uh, Russell. Roman. Russell and Roman, awesome. So they're gonna be playing against each other for the prices right. So you guys will just go one item at a time. First with the double prices. How much is this yellow Easter basket? Or yellow, that's pink. Pink Easter basket. You wanna go first, Roman? Oh yeah. I think you got it. The three? Yeah. He thinks it's 348, what about you? Uh, I'd probably go for 348 as well. You guys are both incorrect. It is oh. only 124. Dang, I know. I got no, it. It's because it's the smaller one. Oh. But we'll go for the bigger one. How much is the bigger one? Oh. All right, that's your guess. Bro, they sometimes they have charges. Someone go for the six dollars. <laughs> All right, it is 348. <laughs> so one point. What's up, Josh? One point for Roman. Last Easter basket, this one's plastic. How much do you think this one's worth? Oh, I remember this thing. So those are $1.50. $1.50? And you? Uh, you guys are both correct. So the bigger basket for the better price, just so you know. But anyways, <laughs> last section of this game, price match the cream egg, Easter themed egg. Lots of different options here. I see the different font on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's the first one? 474 for Roman? I, I'll go for, you know, I'll go for three, no, I'll go for 268. No. 268. The correct answer is the, which one is it again? Right. I've read this one wrong. It's the 387. Oh, okay, that's yeah. why I messed myself up there. Sorry about that. 387, so both of y'all were around it, but Roman had one more point, so Roman wins. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Russell. <laughs> Thank you guys for playing. I'm <laughs> joined with our next contestants. This like is Aaliyah. 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 Aaliyah and Chase, yeah, like and they're going to be playing against each other. So starting off, we have the double prices. We'll start from the smallest basket to the biggest basket. How much is this pink basket worth? $1.24. Dollar twenty-four. I was gonna say dollar twenty-four. Y'all are both correct. So it's one-one right now. How much is this basket worth? Uh, Five ninety-eight. Three forty-eight. You are correct. It is three forty-eight. And now for the plastic basket with unicorns on it. Three twenty-eight. One forty-eight. One forty-eight is correct. I know. So out of these baskets, it's the best bang for your buck, and it has <laughs> unicorns. So very nice. <laughs> So you're up 2-1 right now, but this is worth two points. Price match, the Cadbury eggs. A, a favorite, a local favorite. I'm gonna go 522. 522 for the five pack. Nah, 448. 448. The closest answer was 448. Top. Shoot. Tied. Y'all tied. Nice. So everybody wins. Good job. Thank y'all for joining us. <laughs> and to you guys for tuning in with us. 
Next week, we're going to discuss orientation and have some advice for freshmen, so make sure to join us for that. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Mary, for the news. And now we have our first guest join us to talk about in interviews. Why don't you go uh, to okay. internship? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I no, thought wait. you were not my, counting down. My hair looks bad. Hold on. Yeah, Hold on. Keegan's fixing his hair. Well, there's only eight of us in here. Mm. Okay. Okay. What? Ooh, uh-uh. Ooh. Boats. Anyways. I just cringe so hard. <laughs> Next week we'll be What? Have you ever What the frick, bro? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, I don't know why I can't say we will be discussing. I'm gonna try to go through this whole section without without blinking. <laughs> Here we go. Try to go through this whole section I'm going to get count <laughs> down. Okay, Keegan, let's not blink. <laughs>